it's Golda Rose and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through a day in my life as a mechanical engineer, quarantine edition, and kind of walking you through what my typical day looks like right now. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe because I post videos every single week. So it's time for me to get started for my day and I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I wear uh, when I work from home. So I am just kind of wearing a plain top, I'm wearing some leggings, and then of course my slippers. And I do put on a little bit of makeup. Um, I like to just feel like I'm put together during this time. <laughs> so I am fortunate enough to work from home right now and I really only go into the office maybe once a week. Majority of what you'll see today is me taking various calls, uh, lots of notes. Um, I write everything down in my notepad and so this kind of helps me stay organized, know what my meetings were about, even if they were like three weeks ago. And I also write down any actions that myself or my team might have. Quit slacking and make it happen. <laughs> the motto of the day. <laughs> I got an email from my boss saying that I got a raise. Yay! So that was really nice. And then just having that kind of be on camera was really nice as well. So I'm excited, you know, even during quarantine and everything, I've still been working hard and I am fortunate enough to have a good manager and team that recognizes that. So I'm super happy, but yeah, I'm going to, get finishing up with the rest of my day. I have some things I need to do. So yeah. So I wanted to answer some questions that I feel like people might have. The one question I want to answer is if I have a degree or where I went to school and what my degree is in. I do have a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering with a minor in Physics from Cal State Fullerton. I am local to Southern California, so I went to college out here, I grew up here, and I'm still here. <laughs> I will be going back to school in January 2021 to get a Master of Science in Systems Engineering with an emphasis in Data Analytics, and I'll be doing that at Naval Postgraduate School. So I'm super excited to be going back to school. I will be working full time and just kind of taking you guys through that with me and showing you how I stay productive, how I stay organized, and how I stay motivated. So why did you choose engineering? I chose engineering for a few reasons. I actually went into college as a physics major and thought I wanted to do a PhD program and do research. And that really changed my first year because physics wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So during my second year of college, I decided to double major with mechanical engineering. Now, during my first year, I had met a few engineers and started researching a little bit more about what the curriculum would be, how it would overlap with the courses I had already taken in physics, and what career options I would have once I graduated. After researching the types of engineering, the reason I chose mechanical engineering is because it directly aligned with the courses I had taken in physics. It was very hands-on, and I would be able to design, I would be able to work in the 
aerospace industry, which is what I had an interest in. And so it really allowed me to have a lot of options once I graduated college. So what is my position and what do I do? As mentioned in my trailer, I'm a mechanical engineer working in the defense industry. I like to just tell people that I work with things that go boom. So right now I focus on everything from design to analytics, as well as project management. So there are a few projects that I have right now and I have various tasks and roles within those projects. Each day is exciting and each day is different. For the most part, working from home, I am just working from my computer, but I have a few different computers that I work with depending on what I'm working on. So that's also exciting. And then I'll have my regular meetings, I'll have the admin stuff, I'll have other things I need to do. And some days I'll go into the office. How did you get started or interested in this? So I would say my real interest came from when I was in college. You know, growing up, I always had an interest in space and defense. So when I got the opportunity to, you know, look into internships and really experiment with what I wanted to do as my career, I worked for a manufacturing company as well as an aerospace company. So when I was working for the aerospace company, I was solely doing design. So I was designing in SOLIDWORKS. That really gave me an idea of what it's like working in aerospace and what standards they have and what it's like working in a lab and interfacing with manufacturing and doing environmental tests. So that really gave me an insight into how a mechanical engineer's day-to-day -day life would be working in the office. Now, we're in 2020, things have kind of changed, but I still have that option to, you know, go into the office to work on stuff. I would say the biggest change in my day-to-day -day life is that I don't get to travel. So while I didn't get to travel all that much when I was, you know, going into the office and things were normal, um, I did have that possibility. So a lot of my travel plans this year uh, like everyone, got canceled for work. And how I actually got started in my actual position. So at Kelsey Fullerton, we had a career fair during the spring semester of my senior year. I went up to a booth and I gave them my resume. I was working for an airspace company and I believe that's kind of what drew them in and I had an interview right then on the spot. And so after that, I went through the process. I had another interview in person and I got the position. Now that was my first job out of college. I was again working in the defense industry down in San Diego and about a year into that just based off where I was living and my commute I decided to transfer all that transfer really did was kind of change my job responsibilities and what I was working on as well as where I was working so I am back in Orange County the next question I want to answer is is your job like school and to just throw it out there no it's not it's not like school, but of course, what I learned in school directly transfers to what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, but it is different. So while I'm not doing differential equations, thank God, every single day, I saw technical responsibilities that directly align with what I worked on in school, but now it's kind of developed into, you know, that work environment. I'm not, you know, taking tests and working out of the textbook per se, but in my specific tasks, I'm also not working with equations too often. Most of what I do is either in SOLIDWORKS, Excel, or other platforms like that. So that's something to consider. Now, every mechanical engineering position isn't like this. Some people who work in various industries will be doing various tasks. So that's something to consider. This is just what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So what do you do outside of work? So outside of work, I like to go to the gym. I like to cook. I also tutor. So I work for a tutoring company alongside my engineering job. I really enjoy tutoring students in math and science and really having those aha moments where they realize that they've solved the problem or they understand a concept. I really enjoy that. Now, a typical day for me right now in quarantine, as you can see, I wake up, I do my morning routine, I get dressed, I'll make my coffee. I do pre-make my coffee at night so that in the morning it just brews and I wake up and it's ready to go. And then I will get started on work. It really varies as to what time I start. I am allowed a lot of flexibility as long as I, you know, work my set hours or I'm, I'm getting my tasks done and attending my meetings. So my schedule really varies. There's some days where I start at six, some days where I start at eight. It really just depends on what I have going on. So I only really work Monday through Fridays. I don't work weekends. And so I can also have the option to kind of what's called flex my schedule. So flex schedule would be I have every other Friday off. Right now our gyms are closed in Southern California. But before the gyms are closed, I was going to the gym, getting my workout in. And then now I'm going to be switching to more of home workouts. So I'll try to record those for you guys, let you guys know what um, my workout schedule is like. And we can talk about healthy habits that way as well.
So once I get those endorphins, I will usually come home and I usually tutor. So I tutor, as I mentioned, high school students in math and science. Depending on the day, I will tutor in the evenings, usually from Monday through Thursday. And then after that, I will have dinner and then do my nighttime routine and go to bed. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment what kind of videos you wanna see. Please comment if you have any questions, if you're an engineer, if you're studying to be an engineer, or if you're kind of considering that as a career. I would love to answer any questions you guys have. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.